competitive Pokemon has its fair share of problems, just like any competitive game for that matter. However, today I would like to address what I deem to be arguably the biggest problem in competitive Pokemon, and something that has not really been fixed ever since Pokemon existed, and I don't see this problem ever being fixed to be completely honest. The problem that I'm referring to is competitive Pokemon's balancing problem. It should not come as a surprise to anyone that there are Pokemon that are just way better in competitive play than others, and this is only natural. Every game has a meta, and players want to win, so they use the best available stuff the game has to offer. The thing is when a meta develops and it becomes clear some stuff is just too broken or too good, it gets nerfed, in most competitive games at least. But this is not the case in Pokemon. And this is what I deem to be the biggest problem in competitive Pokemon by far. The meta in competitive Pokemon barely changes unless new Pokemon are added that are even better or an old Pokemon return that were already dominating in previous generations. The Pokemon company barely changes anything in competitive Pokemon. The only time balance changes are done is when a new generation releases and this usually takes about 3 to 4 years. 3 years of playing the same metagame. And when they do release a balance patch after the generation has ended, there are not that many drastic changes. Sure, some Pokemon and moves and even items may get buffed or nerfed, but the changes that roll out are basically the equivalent of a balance patch you would see in other competitive games, and those are, are done every few months. This is especially a problem in the official competitive Pokemon format, VGC. Competitive singles is mostly played on Smogon because overpowered Pokemon and broken moves or abilities get banned by a community that also plays the game, but in VGC there is no Smogon. Fluttermane has been an overwhelming Pokemon in VGC ever since it has been allowed. Fluttermane is the number one most used Pokemon with about a 50% usage rate and many players agree that this Pokemon is just way too strong. However, this Pokemon will most likely continue to dominate the format for long as it is available. In Generation 8 there was a very similar case with Zacian Crown, but even worse. Zacian Crown was the second most used Pokemon behind Incineroar in the format with a 70% usage rate. Zacian was dominating Gen 8 VGC ever since it was allowed and it did not get nerfed for the whole time. You know when they nerfed it? Yeah, after the generation has ended, so in generation 9. As a result, you will see that most VGC teams look very similar. Let's take a look at some teams of high level VGC players and their teams for the latest regulation. If we're looking at the first 8 teams that are just on the screen, the literal first thing you probably notice is that Urshifu Rapid Strike is quite literally on every team. Fluttermane and Chipao are on 5 of the 8 teams and Iron Hands and Among Us are on half of the teams. This is the result of an unbalanced metagame. Most teams have quite a bit of overlap in the Pokemon that are used and this has always been the case in VGC. In competitive singles there are some Pokemon that are way more common than others like Great Dusk and King Gambit, but aside from that there is a lot of variety in team structures and these Pokemon do have some natural counterplay that is pretty much present on most teams. I'm not saying that competitive singles is a perfectly balanced metagame, but I think we can agree there is way more variety. Also in both VGC and competitive singles there have been Pokemon that have been on top of the meta for quite a bit of generations. A very common example in VGC is Incineroar, which is probably the best Pokemon ever when it's allowed. And in competitive singles, that was Slender's Teeth for quite a bit of generations. But these Pokemon tend to be more healthy presences for the meta instead of unbalanced Pokemon that are just very difficult to deal with. If you had a good structured team, your team would naturally have counterplay against these Pokemon. Whereas with most VGC Pokemon, you are basically required to put certain Pokemon on the team to keep threats like Fluttermane, Ossation Crown and even now Urshifu Rapid Strike in check and even then it proves to be difficult. These are not the only examples, but you get the idea. Pokemon does not do balance patches in the middle of a generation and when they do do a balance patch, it's 3 days later when they release a new generation and the format has already ended. And please don't use the argument that the meta gets changed by adding new Pokemon in a new regulation for example, because that does not solve the problem, but rather makes it worse. There are also Pokemon that have been garbage ever since they were introduced and they never received a buff 
even if they were introduced all the way back in generation 1, if you play smoke on singles like me, you should be happy that it exists, because otherwise you would be forced to play battle stadium singles. Imagine playing competitive singles with Pokemon like Fluttermain, Last Respect, Special Legion and Iron Bumble roaming around everywhere. I used to play battle stadium singles quite a bit back in generation 8. But I eventually stopped playing because Libero Cinderace with Dynamax was just everywhere and very unfun to play against in that metagame. I should also mention that when Game Freak does decide to put out a balance patch, they don't look at competitive singles but only VGC. You know, I can understand because VGC is a competitive format after all, but competitive singles does hurt as a result. A very notable example is Dark Void. Dark Void was nerfed heavily after Smurgle dominated the format with that move. And now this move is not viable at all, it's worse than Hypnosis. And Darkrai is now completely unviable as a result of competitive singles because of this nerf. You might think that Protean and Libero got nerfed because these abilities were too strong in competitive singles. Greninja got banned in Gen 6 OU and was a top threat in Gen 7 OU, while Cinderace also got banned in Gen 8 OU because of this ability. Surely they nerfed Protean and Libero because of that. I wouldn't count on it. The only reason these abilities were even looked at is because they were introducing terrestrialization. Imagine introducing a game-changing mechanic while there is an ability that basically allows your Pokémon to terrestrialize every turn. New Pokémon that get introduced are also not created with, with singles in mind. Great examples include Pelafin and Annihilate, which are broken in singles but balanced to VGC. I'm not complaining because Game Freak doesn't care about singles, but because Pokémon are designed with doubles in mind, they have a good chance to become broken in singles and you know that hurts the format as a result. I'm also aware that a perfectly balanced metagame will most likely never exist, but an attempt to create a fun and balanced metagame is appreciated. At least a small balance patch every couple months would keep the game fresh and new. Basically my thoughts on the balancing problem in competitive Pokemon. This might be a controversial opinion, it might not be, but I do think that this is the biggest problem in competitive Pokemon by far. Because a metagame that doesn't get changed very so often becomes very still and boring or tedious as a result. Let me know your thoughts about the balancing problem in competitive Pokemon. And do you agree? Check out the videos on the screen. Thank you for watching and see you next time.